Chetas interactive class. Today we will see in detail about the calibration of apparatus required during volumetric analysis. In this particular video we are going to see how or what are the procedures, what is the need of calibration of apparatus so that we can achieve accuracy and precision during measurement of volumetric analysis. Volumetric analysis apparatus involved during the measurement are pipette, you need a pipette, burette and a volumetric flask. Volumetric flask we generally utilize or use during the preparation of solution that is standard solution of known concentration. We weigh definite solid and dissolve and make a volume by utilizing volumetric flask. Burette is the long naked uniform diameter assembly which deliver the specified volume or variable volume we can say in your conical flask where analyte is present and pipette is the assembly where you want to deliver a definite volume from one solution to another solution. Most of this glassware or laboratory glassware are made up of borosilicate glass which is resistant to thermal shock and chemical attack. While utilizing these instruments, we need to clean these assembly, we need to take care of them while utilizing them and we have to calibrate these apparatus before preparation or before experiment. Cleaning of the glassware, if I use unclean glassware, whatever contamination initially which was utilized will get added as an error during my analysis. So we need to soak these particular glassware in water or in detergent and wash and clean them thoroughly. If some uh, substance has been adhered inside the uh, glassware, we can use, we can add potassium dichromate solution which is prepared in sulfuric acid to remove that particular uh, uh, substance which is adhere on the greasy substance which is adhere on the glassware. Pipette are cleaned during cleaning of the pipette you have to put the uh, distilled water through the entire surface of the pipette uh, with the detergent and then you can able to clean it. Well, while cleaning you can use a small brush which uh, will remove from the surface of the uh, glassware whatever the substance which has adhered on the surface. These glassware during volumetric analysis we don't need to dry the glassware but if you are performing any other experiment related to organic chemistry lab like preparation and all that where you are using organic solvent you can clean and dry the assembly in oven. Uh, cleaning uh, machines are available where a lot of apparatus of variable size can be cleaned at a single uh, uh, bulk or at a single time you can clean wash and dry them. While handling these volumetric glassware when washing while washing it should not touch or uh, strike at the uh, wash basin you have to take care that you are handling them with the care while shaking the volumetric flask hold at the neck and the bottom and it will prevent the breakage remove the stopper of volumetric flask before you are drying in an oven if you are drying in an oven uh, do not raise the temperature of the oven above 600 degrees Celsius and before utilizing or using cool them at room temperature then, then it is used. While removing the apparatus from the oven to outside you have cotton hand gloves and an asbestos sheet where you can keep the assembly uh, outside the oven. While utilizing these glassware calibration of volumetric apparatus at specified interval is needed. It is an important task where you maintain the temperature parameter constant with, with respect to volume, weight and delivery time. While using balance also you need to have a calibrated balance. While measuring the volume on this assembly of uh, burette you need to see the solvent level where concave and convex uh, uh, meniscus while measuring the level of the liquid. You have to utilize for clear solution, colored solution not clear solution you have to see the lower meniscus 
uh, for colored solution you have to see the upper meniscus for colorless solution you have to see the lower meniscus that is concave for colorless convex for colored solution while measuring this or observing this meniscus your eye level should be at the level of the solvent calibration of burette just now i told you that burette is a long uh, cylindrical tube having uniform diameter which is marked with 0 to 25 or in market it is 50 or 100 ml burettes are also available and at the neck you are having a stop cock or pinch cock uh, available while uh, before using these burettes instead of never ever it has never ever mentioned in volumetric analysis that it should be dry whereas it should be washed five to six times with distilled water it should be wet from inside and then fill it with distilled water remove the meniscus here so that clear solution you are passing remove the air bubble from here and up to zero you mark this burette or fill this burette with water then in a clean beaker which was pre-wet wet of the beaker is known to you then remove from up 0 to 25 mark remove the water in a beaker then measure the weight of that particular uh, beaker with water and you just subtract the volume of w2 minus w1 put the density of water which is 1 you write down the density and find out the volume with respect to this burette so this is the simple way to calibrate or know the exact volumes of the burette if uh, it is uh, uh, you have to take precaution that you are not going to deliver the volume below this mark line of 25 you have to watch the meniscus for colorless solution as concave and colored solution as convex upper meniscus you when you are when you got a spare, the error with respect to the burette that is if it is marked for 25 and you are getting 24.9 ml as a reading or a volume from this calibration procedure then if you are doing this calibration procedure for number of burettes in a lab if another burette is having same error of 24.9 then matching the burettes of same error also minimizes the error in calculation so matching the burettes of same error will definitely minimize as most of the experiments require double burette titration when you are doing this calibration part in a lab you can match the error of having same burette okay calibration of volumetric flask volumetric flask is the one which is having long naked flask where flat bottom at the best and it has been uh, the marking itching of marking or level of the marking is done at this particular part where it is easily noted that excess of volume it can be easily noted over here or drop wise up to the mark you need to put the solution so that it will make the volume 100 ml these are usually marked with the volume and temperature and the maker wash this flask cleanly fill the uh, distilled water completely up to the mark as it is colorless you have to see the lower meniscus and find out the weight of the flask initially and then the flask with the distilled water okay then w2 minus w1 divided by density of the liquid will give you the exact volume or calibration of volumetric flask these volumetric flasks are available in market with the volume 5 25 50 100 250 500 where the tolerance limit they have specified if this is the for 5 ml if you are getting the reading uh, with error 0.04 ml it is allowed so this tolerance limit tells you how much error is allowed to you during calibration this is the mark which you have to observe while do, uh, preparing the solution usually volumetric flask is needed in your uh, titration uh, for preparation of standard solution definite weight of solute you are adding and along with the solvent dissolving it in a solvent in outside the beaker transferring that volume and making up the volume up to 100 ml calibration of graduated pipette actually uh, these are there are number of pipettes you might have seen in a lab with a centrally the bulb like this uh, where you can put rubber cork at the top 
and you can transfer the liquid these are the graduated pipette which are having actually they are graduated with uh, no need to do the calibration but if you want to do the calibration of these graduated pipette you can do by cleaning it properly uh, weight of the beaker you have to record like we have done for initial uh, burette then uh, make the volume up to the mark transfer this volume of hole into the beaker and w2 minus w1 divided by density of the water will give you the um, exact volume of this calibrated burette when you are uh, calibrated pipette when you are using these pipettes never ever suck the solution with the pipette utilization of pipette is actually banned but for specific volume you need to utilize it you can utilize it by putting the rubber bulb never ever suck or automated these hmm, pipettes are available which transfer the exact volume assign uh, you can assign here the volume which you want to transfer adjust the volume and this particular tab at the top will suck the volume and transfer you can transfer the volume still if you are interested in using this graduated pipette the tolerance limit has been specified over here where if you are having 0.02 ml 4 ml 6 0.06 ml this less than 0.5 less than 0.5 ml approx uh, depending upon the volume of the pipette is allowed to utilize as a calibrated burette micro pipette these are the uh, utilized these are the pipettes which are utilized for very small volume like micro liters to 1000 less than 1 ml or up to 1 ml you can utilize these are specified with the marked with the volume here and tab uh, you have, you have to use here uh, the tips the uh, micro tips over here which will in in that micro tip that specified volume is sucked by this uh, operation by pressing this tab in, this is very fast accurate reproducible where disposable tips are there you don't require to wash rinse the solution where reduction of pipetting error associated with normal pipette we can definitely overcome by utilizing micro pipette which transfer the accurately uh, and very small volume of liquids uh, during the um, experiment precaution while using this micro pipettes is never uh, uh, use the micro pipette without tip never ever lay down the micro pipette down as it will allow the liquid to run into the micro uh, pipette barrel uh, uh, return the button to the top of the position smoothly where you are operating with this the spring is there so you have to operate it very smoothly while utilizing or transferring specified volume uh, wipe the droplets from any other side of the tip uh, here when you are putting at the tip and the sub, uh, volume is there excess of the uh, solvent which is observed at the tip which should be uh, droplets if any at the side but never uh, wipe the tip opening at the top end you can wipe but never at the tip opening store this micro pipettes to set at maximum vo vo volume this release the pressure Uh, which exert inside the spring of this micro pipette uh, the, if you are trying any organic solvent to transfer by utilizing this micro pipette you have to check the compatibility with the tip for the solvent which you are utilizing actually no need to do the calibration of these micro pipettes but if you want to do the micro pipette calibration just weigh small centrifuge tip and transfer the volume in that tip then weight of the uh, tube uh, with respect to the uh uh the specified volume you transfer it and weighing of the centrifuge tube and centrifuge tube with the volume you take the uh, uh, w2 minus w1 weight of the particular uh, uh, water divided by density you will get the volume of that particular uh, micro pipette which is utilized for transfer calculate the standard deviation based on five volumes and determine the accuracy of the micro pipettes all this calibration is done properly when you are using calibrated balance you need to see the level of the balance properly whether it is operating whether it is giving me the exact weight so calibration and handling of this particular balance is very important here are some rules which are 
utilized while weighing the uh, uh, particular um, assembly on the balance never handle the object to be weighed with the fingers use a piece of paper or pair of tongs to be utilized weight uh, uh, usually taken at the room temperature never place chemical directly on the balance or pan you can utilize the uh, yeah, we can utilize the weighing dish or weighing bottle or powder paper you can always uh, brush it the spilled uh, chemicals outside this pan of this particular balance with a soft brush and allow this balance the side of the walls of the balance to be closed so that it will not affect the weight or fan if you are having near to the fan if you are doing the weighing please make sure that you have off the fan thank you hope you have understood the calibration importance of the apparatus utilized during volumetric analysis stay tuned for further videos which are related to volumetric analysis thank you like share and subscribe